And there we go. Merry Christmas. Hello again. Today we're just we're going to continue on with our Arduino and LCD screen setup that we got ready end of last week. Yeah. Um, the last video was a bit longer because we had to plug everything in and then write a little bit of code to get it started. Uh, today we're going to just go on to the next part of the, the demo and from the um, well the tutorial rather on the website. All right? And so in this tutorial the next thing is auto scroll. And with that, we're going to demo a couple other features of this LCD panel using the Arduino. Um, so as a quick reminder, the project, the, the kit is um, the, Uno, the Uno R3 Super Starter Kit. This is from Elegoo. That's the, the kit in question that uh, I'm using for all of this. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of cool things in it. And the, this is just the first thing we're doing with it. So in the future, we want to do even more fun things with it. There's this proto kit thing. It's a bunch of LEDs. We've got sensors and joysticks and a fan that we can hook up to a motor. So for now, we're just going to start with the next part of the auto scroll thing. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, nah. today I want you two to help me out a little more than last time. Uh, and so I'm going to have Sister Yeti, can you read this uh, next part of the instructions, please? Just right here. Okay. The exa this example sketch shows how to use the auto scroll and no, no otters, auto scroll methods to move all the text on the display left or right. Yes, the methods are auto scroll and oh, no yeah. auto scroll. <laughs> you excited? Okay. Um, the auto scroll moves all the text one space to the left each time a letter is added, and the no auto scroll just turns that off. Okay. So you know the Christmas light house that we like to go to. How there's that sign outside that says what song's going to play next and what time, what the radio is. Yes. So that is basically a really big one of these. So that um, queen got. This thing thing is the same thing as this one. Right? Yeah, it's just this one's a lot smaller. Oh. Yeah. And so the message scrolls to the left as it types out, right? Yep. And it says what music's going to play next and that sort of thing. Well, yep. so what we're going to do here is we're going to get up to set up to do something similar. A little bit simpler, but something similar. So... This top part of the code is the same as from the last time, and we already have that in our code here. Okay? Yes. But there's one difference. We are not going to print out the Hello YouTube to start. Okay, We're not going to print that anymore because we're going to print something else. <clears throat> and we are going to do that here in the loop. Okay, The, the setup, remember, gets run once. And so the first thing we can do is we're going to set up our LCD and tell the liquid crystal code that this is a 16 column, two row display. Okay. okay? Yeah, I like the math equation. You like a math equation. Yeah, that's, there's a lot in common with math in, in writing code. Now, this one, there are bigger ones that could be 20 and then it could be taller and be a four line. There are even bigger ones and bigger ones. This one's a 16 by 2. Like, like, the camera call oh, that hole to that hole, right? Yeah, there are big ones that go from over there to there. Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do <coughs> is work in the loop. So, uh, setup is already done in the loop. We're going to set the cursor at 0, 0. Remember how last time I was explaining that in many software languages, things start at 0 instead of... One. One, yeah. All right, so this means on the zeroth row, on the zeroth column, which is the first and the first. We're gonna set the cursor there. And then we don't need this next line anymore, so we'll delete that. So we're going to tell the LCD, we're gonna start over here in the top left. Okay, now what do we wanna do? 
there's a thing called a for loop in your scratch code. Do you remember there's a thing like you can put, I think it's orange. There's this little loop. There's a structure that kind of looks like this. And then you slot your code in it and then it gets to the bottom and it starts the top again and it runs your code and then yes. it goes to the top again. Okay. So that's what this is. We've got four. This is C++ and the way it's done here, this is the old style of C++ we use. We're going to say, this char, this character, so character is A, B, C, D, right? Mm -hmm. So char is short for character. So this character, we're going to start with zero. We're going to start with nothing. Um, one, two, three, four, five, you know, zero through 10. The numbers are also considered characters in, this, in, in here because it's something we can write on the display. Oh, yeah. So for from zero up to 10. So this is what we're saying here. So we're going to start at zero and we're going to go to 10 okay. and we're going up from zero to 10. And so this plus plus is saying every time we finish this loop, add a number to this chart. Okay. So the plus plus is the same thing as adding one to it. We're going to add one to it and then set it back to itself. So. And uh, what are we going to do every time this loop runs? So every time the loop runs, the, in, the this char is going to be as one bigger than it was last time. It's going to be oh, zero the first time. Huh. No, no, that's the same. I <laughs> So what's bit one bigger than zero? Ten. Uh, we're going to ten, but that's not one bigger than zero. What's one bigger than zero, sister? One. One. Okay. Dog, you cannot answer this question. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so the first time it runs it will be zero. The next time it will be one. And then it will be two. two. And then it will be three. Okay. Now this right here, I said it goes to 10. But what it actually is, is this is less than 10. You probably haven't learned less than or equal to. Greater than or equal to. Probably haven't gotten to that yet in school. No. This less than means while... This char is less than 10, but not when, in, when it's equal to. So the last time this runs is actually going to be 9. It's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But it won't run at the 10 because we're, once it's equal to 10, it's no longer less than. So it stops. So what are we going to do? We want to print that that letter, this, this char. We're going to print this char. Okay. Now, we're going to print this char. And then what do you think is going to happen? So let's ignore the rest of the tutorial for a second. And let's go ahead and plug this in. Hit run. What happened? Did what happened? Run? Zero O. It says zero two. Uh. Sorry, working under the camera is a little. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I printed them all out, mm -hmm. right? Now, but we're talking, this demo is about scrolling, right? So we wanna do some scrolling here. Well, this is what we're, that's the next part. Uh, to show the scroll, uh, we want to, Move to the next line. So we're going to do LCD set cursor. And we're going to say, go to this last column of the second row. R remember, it's 16 columns wide. So 16 will be the last column. Yes. And then one is the next row. So we're going to move to the next one. And then we're going to turn on auto scroll. That was the method you read the name of earlier. Yep. So with auto scroll on, now we're going to do this again. So I just copy pasted that. We're going to do that whole thing again, except it's going to be a little bit different because of the auto scroll. So now let's hit return. Okay. So what did it do? It moved down and it's on the side now. It was. And then now it's just you can hardly tell, but uh, it's just printing as fast as it possibly can. 
It's the numbers are just flying okay. across it. Oh yeah. There was a moment where everything was stopped, but then it just started printing. And so on, on camera, because the contrast is very hard to see, but what? it's just raw. So there's a line that I skipped on purpose so you could see the difference. But tonight, like, there's trouble in there, and then the warning because is, <laughs> is, is, is very scared. Yeah, it's like the numbers are scared. They're in trouble and they're running away. So there's one thing that we want to do to make it actually readable. It's moving too fast, you can't read it. We need to slow it down. So we're gonna put in a delay and that is here in the exam, the, the tutorial code that I skipped on purpose, like I said, so you could see the difference. So now if we do a delay, we mentioned last time milliseconds. Milliseconds is a one thousandth of a second. Yes. One thousand milliseconds in one not second. not going to skip it anymore. Yeah, we're not going to skip anymore. So the delay takes milliseconds. So we're going to give it 500 milliseconds, and 500 is half of 1,000. Yes. All right. So that means it's going to be a delay of half of one second. Yep, she's nodding. She got that even before I said it out loud. Okay, um, not sure what happened. Had to... Uh, cut for a second there and come back in. Um, okay, so I was just explaining that the delay is going to be for half a second. Okay. So now I'm gonna hit go. What do you expect is going to happen when I print this out? Okay, so now there's a little bit of a delay before all the numbers print. I want to see. Okay. Sorry, I thought you could see on the screen. So that's not quite what the example had set up though. But you saw how they're crawling across the screen from right yeah. to left, right? So let's finish this example. Let's finish this example and we'll see what the what it's gonna look like. So remember that in this loop, everything's gonna run and then it's gonna go to the top again. Yep. So auto scroll, the very first time it printed, it printed all of this and then scrolled this. But then it started scrolling on the first part as well because we never turned auto scroll back off. So at the end, we're going to turn auto scroll off again yeah. so that the next time through the loop, it prints the first part without being an auto scroll. Now, just to kind of let it start over completely, we're going to do a clear every time. And because there's a nice delay in this one, we're going to add the delay to this one as well, just so you can see the difference. As it's all set up, we can see the real difference between without auto scroll and with auto scroll. Okay. So now let's get started. You can see that it is now printing out all of those numbers, and then it starts auto scrolling when it gets to the next numbers. Then it clears everything, prints the first numbers one at a time, it's not scrolling, and then it is scrolling. See that? So, what that means is, if you want to print a message, oops, I lost power. And that is what you get for handling devices. <laughs> um, when they're on. Down. Look at that. That was some cool random jump that was on the screen, right? Yeah. It powered on when it was in the middle of who knows what. And so it wasn't. Oh, it's going to stop doing that. Thing. It won't stop now. It's in a loop forever. Yeah. Okay. So that was auto scroll. It will <clears throat> scroll to the left as the new, um, new messages come on the screen. And so that's how they do it when, you know, like I said, the, the house with the. The, the Christmas music. Yes. All right. So when you put a message in, that message will scroll across the screen. Now, what is another cool thing that we could do with the scroll? Right? So we just printed a bunch of numbers. Is there something else that you'd like to print? We could print uh, letters. Could print letters. Yeah. We could print... <laughs> The thing which we printed last year. 
now going to print that. This time, we're going to print it. So, mother pay too. Uh -huh. Can more. we print words? Yes, we can print words. That's exactly what I was waiting for you to say. Okay, so we can print words, right? Then now, mm -hmm. so this isn't the way that you'd normally do it, but just for the fun of it, I'm going to show you something, right? Um, normally you'd print the whole message at once yes. and then you could scroll, but just for fun, I'm going to do, okay, so what do, uh, I'm going to do a message a little bit differently. How, what do you want to say? Say something you want to put in here, something short. So, oh, oh, the numbers was very fun to see. The numbers was very fun to see, yeah. But what is something you want to, you want to put on here now? Is there a favorite word or a saying that you have? Oh, favorite word. What's your favorite word? Love. Love? Okay. Love, that's a good one. What's something you want to say here? Christmas. Christmas. Okay, well, that is not long enough. So, I'm going to turn that into something else. Um, we had, we said hello YouTube before, so I'm going to yeah. put that back in here. So hello YouTube, Merry Christmas, love from the Yetis. Actually, I think that might be too long, so we'll just start with Merry Christmas, love from the Yetis. Okay. Now, this message, you know how we were going from zero to ten? Well... Let's go ahead and remove the zero to 10. Okay. Oh, we still need the set cursor. So 10. We're delete that accident. Okay, so we're gonna, on the very first line, so make that a zero now, we're gonna have auto scroll on. Instead of printing the characters zero to 10, I'm going to print a letter out of the message. Okay, so I'm gonna have a letter. And then message, message is actually a collection of characters. Okay, we'll explain that more some other time when we're talking about code. But uh, basically, the message is a big collection of characters. And so if I put, if I go from zero until the end of the message, what this means is go until the message is over, like when it can't access anything more. It's, I'll explain it better some other time. But go from the very first letter to the last letter and get that letter out and then print that letter. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we're not gonna turn auto scroll on and off, so I'm just gonna do it once and set up. So we're going to auto scroll and then print all of this clear. And now we should see that message show up. Okay. And it's going to cross, go across the screen. Merry Christmas. We can make that a little faster. <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, it was too long. So I was trying to keep the message long enough where it wouldn't do that. The message was so long it split onto the second line. We'll try and figure it out some other time. Um, that has to do with how the LCD works and how much it can fit in its memory, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what fixes it. So some other time we can explore that and try to figure it out, okay? But for now, we have a message that's printing across. And if you're following along from home and you wanna fix it, one quick and easy way to fix it is just tell the LCD that it's only one line <laughs> and then it won't split to the second line. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit faster. Send it back to the Arduino. And there we go. Merry Christmas. Now it's going so fast that it's a little bit difficult to read because it kind of blinks in and out. You can see that, right? Yep. And there we go. That's Merry the Christmas message. The Fun, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. See everybody later. Bye. Bye.